Hi, it's Linda from Homestead by the Lake. So this is the story of my heart attack. So this is Matters of the Heart, and I'm going to talk about my symptoms, my journey, what happened, and what I'm still doing. I'm hoping that this helps anyone in a heart health journey. Good morning. So I'm on my walk this morning and it's just a beautiful day. So I thought I'd sit down by the water and maybe start a little bit of my series of matters of the heart. I had started a low sodium series because I was not feeling well and it turns out that I did fail a stress test and um, I did have a blockage. So I had a catheterization and they put in stent number five for me. And I have had open heart surgery. I had a quadruple, quadruple bypass. They placed two stents. And then it seems like every two years I end up having an issue and having to get another stent. So I am on number five. So, matters of the heart, how do I want to do this? I'm not really sure. I might just ramble. You know, before I had my heart attack, well, I should say, I'm not a doctor. This is what happened to me. I can only tell you what happened to me. I have a family history of heart disease and high cholesterol. And... We've had several family members have open heart surgery. I had a brother who had a heart transplant. So, heredity, hereditary is just not great. So when I was 53, I had my heart attack. My symptoms, I think initially, I did not know. I think what happens is when you start to get blockages, it just happens gradually. So maybe you just adjust to how you're feeling as it's just how you're feeling. I do recall when I would stress myself with physical activity, my voice would change, which was odd, but I didn't think much of it. You know, I just cleared my throat and eventually went back to normal. The only other symptom that I recall that, of course, now I know was a symptom at the time I did not know was whenever you're doing something, let's say you're vacuuming and you don't sweat when you vacuum and then all of a sudden you vacuum and you sweat and you get a little breathless. That is one of my symptoms. So I started smoking in eighth grade and you know, on and off, didn't quit until I was 53 when I had my heart attack. That's very young. But also, even with the family history, I didn't take care of myself. I think you always kind of think, well, it's not going to happen to me, right? So the morning I had a heart attack, I was 53 years old. As I said, very young. Um, I woke up. It was early in the morning. It was like six o'clock in the morning. And I was drenched. I was literally, my clothes were wet. I was sweating. My chest felt heavy. I was walking around kind of like in a fog almost. Um, I was breathless. I did not think I was having a heart attack. I don't think that came into my mind at all, but something did tell me to go to the bathroom and chew some aspirin, which I did. And then I just kept walking around and then my daughter got up and she took me to the emergency room. And before that happened, before we left, I did feel tingling down my arm. Even then, I know that's like one of the symptoms like everybody knows, but I still didn't think I was having a heart attack. Um, we're a good 20 minutes to the emergency room. So we're driving down and we get into 
um, she gets a wheelchair for me and wheels me in and they took me right back, did an EKG and yes, I was actively having a heart attack. So they made me change my clothes and then they just started wheeling me out. We were going to the catheterization lab and I recall the doctor meeting us in the hallway. Like he didn't get to the room before these ER people got me going down the hallway. They were wonderful. And we go down the hallway to the catheterization room. I'm really foggy about, I don't remember much of anything. Um, they must have put me out. I really don't remember. So apparently I had um, a catheterization and that's where they check the blood flow in your heart. And I had a lot of blockages. They put two stints in and um, that's all I remember. Well, I don't even remember that, but I remember being in the room afterwards. And I'm not sure if this is a recollection or not, or if just from people telling me, um, but after the catheterization, they put you in a room and the doctor comes in and he tells us that he put two stints in and that I have to have open heart surgery the next morning. That I didn't want to hear. So the next morning, I got to see all my family and they walked with me down the hallway before the surgery doors and I went in and had open heart surgery. I had a quadruple bypass plus two stents that they had put in the day before. And having open heart surgery, of course, is life changing. It's very difficult. It's, um, it's a tough recovery. Uh, and it's something that I still struggle with. I don't know how long the surgery took, um, but I do know that when I woke up, I was in a room and I had a, a young nurse, a male nurse who was taking care of me. And he's waking me up from anesthesia. And I remember being in a lot of pain waking up from anesthesia and just begging him to please put me back to sleep. Like, I don't wanna feel this. But I think it was more, I was just scared. I'm sure I, I probably wasn't in pain. I was just afraid. I don't remember much of anything, especially initially. And I did put those few photos at the beginning and you're hooked up to all sorts of medicines and you're knocked out and you've got oxygen on. And I did end up being in the hospital for 11 days and I had to come home with oxygen. And it is a long recovery, which we'll cover some more of in the rest of my series, Matters of the Heart. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I hope some of this helps you.